Wardrobes are one of those things that are deeply personal. The clothes we choose to put on our backs are often a way of communicating our interests, values or status, and can even become an integral part of our perceived identity. Because of this, you can never say there's ever a right way to dress. However, there are certain choices that can be detrimental to our livelihood by stretching our bank accounts and overcrowding our closets. Some people solve this by choosing to wear the same outfit every day. But if, like me, you struggle with the idea of this kind of commitment, there are intentional choices that we can make in order to make our wardrobes as versatile and intentional as possible without needing to sacrifice our daily style choices. It's mind-blowing to consider the percentage of some people's income that is spent purely on clothing, and I think that with a capsule wardrobe, you still have the ability to look great, but without spending half of your salary. This has been a highly requested topic, so in this video, I'll be going over what's in my wardrobe and why I chose each item. I believe a wardrobe has seven small sections. Tops, bottoms, outerwear, shoes, accessories and underwear, athleisure, and formal wear. For tops, the main workhorses of my wardrobe are 10 t-shirts. My general rule is that these are all in pastel or muted colours, so that they can generally go with anything. Four button downs, two polos, and three sweaters. For bottoms, I like to keep things simple, so I have one pair of black jeans that I almost never take off in the winter months, and probably should wash more often. One pair of casual black trousers, for when black jeans are a little too casual or in the wash and a pair of grey and navy chinos, which are lightweight and usually make their appearance in the summer. For outerwear I have one black overcoat for easy style points, a wool jacket which comes in handy for making you seem smarter, more serious or more fashionable than you actually are, one black bomber jacket, this probably gets the most use, two hoodies for lounging, one's black and the other is grey with a zipper, and one rain jacket. It gets quite cold in the UK during the winter, so I was tempted to add a parka into the mix, but they're usually quite expensive, and really, you can easily layer up these items into quite a cosy and versatile package instead. I don't really spend much on most of my wardrobe items, but the one area I'm happier to spend a little more on is shoes. It's an ongoing journey figuring out how to minimise shoes down to just a few, but the absolute essentials I've found to be are one pair of black Chelsea boots, these are especially great during the winter months and can easily be styled up or down any time of year. One pair of black trainers. These get abused the most as they hide the dirt well and are for workouts, gentle hikes and almost anything else. A pair of Birkenstocks, which double up for around the house or taking to the beach. And one pair of high quality white trainers. These are a one size fits all shoe and are easily dressed up or down. Somehow they're youthful yet mature, and they go just as well with chinos as they do sweatpants, jeans, and even suits. I was kindly sent this pair from Oliver Cabell, a company many sneakerheads will have heard of, and considering that in the summer months I'll barely wear anything else other than white trainers, they are an absolute workhorse in a minimalist capsule wardrobe. Oliver Cabell are the kind sponsors of this video, and I'm in love with their ethos, advocating minimalism, quality, and transparent pricing, over fast fashion and insanely high retail markups. This pair are the low ones and they're made from three ounce full grain Italian calfskin leather and Margam Italian outsoles. And I can tell you that the quality is like none other, especially when compared to my background of rapidly deteriorating white converse. Other than these items, I just have a very unminimalist array of three watches, two black hats, a belt, a gray and navy suit, I find black suits are harder to dress down, but regardless, these barely get worn. One was from my wedding, and the other was from my friends, where I was one of his groomsmen. Two pairs of shorts, two pairs of sweatpants, and two weeks worth of underwear and socks. In my opinion, the key to a capsule wardrobe is versatility. By having a selection of items that can be paired in the highest possible number of combinations, this means that you can own fewer items that take up less space in your home and save you the stress of early morning decision fatigue as everything simply goes together. Because of this, you can invest in fewer items of a higher quality, which allows you to reappropriate finances to your most used and versatile items. I'm not really big into fashion, so don't look too deep into this list, and I know that you could probably make this minimal wardrobe much smaller. I think learning what your perfect minimalist wardrobe is is a gradual process and will be very dependent on your career and lifestyle. 
The items I've shown are what I find works for me right now as an architect working in London and may not necessarily work for you, so take everything I've said with a pinch of salt. Also, because I'm human, I've made my fair share of wardrobe mistakes over the years, which I've slowly been siphoning out. So I found it's useful to have a transition box for these items that I'm finding that I no longer use. Also, having a box for necessary seasonal items such as shorts, sportswear, scarves, thermals and gloves is useful as well. Finally, all I'll say is that an item that fits well is always going to look better than one that's branded and doesn't fit at all. And having a wardrobe that is both versatile, intentional and durable may help your wallet and happiness by freeing up some space in your home and time in your hands. If you enjoyed this video, you can find more content and support my work over on patreon.com forward slash Daniel Titchener. Once again, I'd like to thank Oliver Cabell for sponsoring this video and thank you guys so much for watching. You can also support my channel using the Oliver Cabell affiliate link down below to pick up a pair of your own. And be sure to hit the like button and drop me a comment for the YouTube algorithm if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for all of your support and once again I'll see you in the next one.